Why do you think people are afraid to show love right now? <laughs> For starters, Brooklyn Zone. Radimus, yeah. Radimus here talking to you. I mean, you went from teaching us, dude, if nothing changes, nothing changes, right? Right, exactly. Fact. <laughs> you wrote the book about that. Them Fact. righteous, teaching us right. how to be righteous. Now mm-hmm. synonyms of strength. Yeah. Yo, down to your titles. You're just so full of art. <laughs> but let me tell you why Appreciate I'm doing that. this series of interviews. I feel like, you know, I feel like we got to get back. Everybody's into the glam of it all, right? But what yeah. about what it takes us to get there? What about the love yeah. and the passion that goes behind that? Are we forgetting that? Are we right. forgetting, maybe, you know, maybe that's why the music is sounding different. Maybe mm-hmm. that's why people are so caught up in social media and forgetting to live in that moment, you know? Right. So I feel like let's get back to what matters. Let's get back to the passion that goes behind mm-hmm. us artists that take us to that motivation, that teach others, that inspire others to want to be like somebody yeah. else, to take it there. You're an mm-hmm. artist on all levels. I don't even want to call you a rapper because mm-hmm. now you're writing books. I mean, when it comes to the art behind your videos, when mm-hmm. it comes, mm-hmm. dude, we're going to touch it all. But Appreciate love. It, Thank you. The love yeah, start? man. I feel, uh, you know, it honestly is not a thing for me that, um first at first in the initial stages of being an artist started um I used to memorize books and do like storytelling contests around the city and in my school and that's the first time I had like performance experience and I don't even remember I don't think there was anything poetic or nothing about me at the time I don't honestly to this day can't recall why you know what I mean I was like chosen as a kid but I did you know what I mean I was the one who won in my school and then we toured around for it a little bit and that was the first time like performing in front of people and then you know writing in middle school high school all of that it's, it, it made everything else make sense you know what I mean so at first I think it was like a, a recalibration of like reality you know what I mean it was like yo I don't fit in this and this and this and this and this but when I write I'm it all makes sense because now it can turn into a line it can turn into a bar it can bring out you know what I mean I can stand up for myself I can whatever you know make sense of like my identity but the passion behind like you know that it's easy when you are just 12 13 14 you're not really doing anything else in your life you know what I'm saying you you're you're a kid and you're just you're just experimenting and and you're curious and I think you know the the real life got, you know, the, the higher responsibilities, the higher um, just application of so much more than just writing. You know what I mean? Like the application of your time, application of your patience, the application of like your, your creativity outside of just like on record. And, and now it's like, wait, hold on. Like I have to actually be doing things and moving forward. And for me, I think it's the, the, the purpose first. You know what I mean? Like I don't think I'd be passionate about music if I didn't care about why I make music, you know what I mean? And through the writing and through the identity and reflection, I started creating things that made sense to me, you know, felt like lacked in the world or, or felt like I could express um, where maybe in a normal day setting, I wouldn't, you know what I'm saying? It was like, no, I actually think about it like this. I think about pain like this. I think about growth like this. Then I started believing in myself. You know what I mean? I started believing that what I'm doing is right. I started believing that what I'm doing is purposeful, is useful, because it was helping me already, you know? And and then I realized, oh shit, that's what was happening when you were listening to certain artists on certain days. Like, they were helping you. Like, Jay-Z was teaching you, you know what I'm saying? Like, Nas and them, they were teaching you. Like, all, all, and then, and then, and then, it, I really got into just the emotion of music. So, like, you know, I was raised on, like, James Brown and the Ivy Brothers and Marvin Gaye and all these. Before I knew who those artists were, I just recall the songs. But I remember what that did to me. I remember that summers <laughs> felt better. I remember, like, I'd hear yeah. it in the morning and now I feel good. So then then I was like, oh, right, you're transmitting the same thing. Now, you're, it's your job. Like, you may be playing out of the window or somebody or, you know, or the neighbor and there's a kid listening to you and you're affecting their day. You know what I'm saying? So I think just like 
the purpose, the purpose and the passion are intertwined. You know what I mean? I'm passionate because I believe in my purpose. Um, okay, so now, how do you stay in that light? All these years, you told yourself, well, this was this, this was that emotion, this is that, this transfers into this. But what yeah. kept you in that motivation? What kept you in that light? What kept you in that love and passion? Well, I mean, you can't make, I think Stevie Wonder said this to uh, Khalid in the interview, if I'm not mistaken. He told him, you can't make music more than who you are. You know, like there are people who, and to each his own, but I think I used to attempt grandiose feelings. I used to attempt like larger than life ideas and being just epic for the, just for <laughs> epic and, and, you know, putting words together and pretending like I, I perfectly thought about it and know. And then you really li listen to somebody who's really lived and you're like, oh shit, like they're, they're real. You know what I mean? Like I'm just, I, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Um, I think it's just life itself. You learn more, you pay attention to things, you see uh, talent fade, you see talent make it, you know what I mean? You see success, you see people, you see people in bad situations that make them good, you see people in good situations that make them bad, you see pain destroy someone, you see pain inspire somebody, you see money be used beautifully, you see it ruin a person and lo lose it all in a year, you see people shit on people, you see people hold their people down and the lasting effects of that. Of course, um, some kind of accolades or money or opportunities or, or fans, you know what I'm saying? That definitely uh, reinforces you, but you can't really, you can't really depend on applause to keep you, to keep your cause right. You know what I'm saying? You can't, you can't depend on applause for you to believe in your cause. You know what I'm saying? You got to really like, it, you got to do it when you, when you're by yourself, you know what I'm saying? Because none of your fans are there when, it's when you're hungry. None of your fans are there when you're depressed. And like they may be there on the internet. They may be. They may be existing in the world. But you have to go and make those decisions. And 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 honestly, it's God too. You know what I mean? Just like having open conversations and and praying. And and I try to keep a spiritual practice. You know what I'm saying? I'm. I try to keep an awareness to just like the power of the word and the power of the thought and the power of like intent and in your action. And and uh, yo, we're just life and you are always in reaction and action to one another so that's beautiful man you just like i forget my, my next question is gonna be i'm like you just like <laughs> throw me off but it's so true yeah. and this is why artists yeah. like you we i feel like you have morphed and you're this you're consistent yeah. with your art but you've grown so much with still the same genuineness the same mm -hmm. you, what you put out is something that i know when i see radamas i'm always gonna see that same person regardless of how much you've done or regardless of yeah. how big are you thinking of yourself you know regardless of mm -hmm. how those accolades are taking you you know yeah. and yeah. you're always you and i feel that's so important it's so important what you said um the whole spiritual ritual you know, yeah. having that and being connected to something, whether it is the universe, whether it is God, whatever it is, being connected right. to something, knowing yeah. that we're just a small entity of such a big production, you know, right, like, right, there's right. so much that went mm -hmm. into creating. We're not yeah. just out here alone. It's not just like, poof, I just, I'm made. Like, no, it's not the way yeah. it works. You know, and giving that back to get that back in life. And I see that in you and I love that. Right, try to honor that with the with the creations, man. This and this is exactly what I'm getting into right now. So for me, I truly, truly love the way you are about culture. Hmm. I know I said love about I'm loving everything, right? Like, well, what, everything. <laughs> 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 but just the way you are about culture, the way you carry being Latino, being Dominican, your videos, the art that goes behind, you know. The art that goes behind your album covers, the dude, you can feel the Spanish in there. You feel the culture. You, I want you to talk mm -hmm. a little bit about being raised in that culture and what that did for you. The ill part is that for me, I wasn't raised um, socially Latino. Like I didn't grow up with just Dominican friends. Or like just Dominican and Puerto Rican and Mexican friends. Like I was raising best that, you know what I'm saying? But then at the same right. time, I um, went to DR every year, you know, once to twice a year since I was a little kid. And still, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm still plotting on when I'm going to go to DR, probably go next month. But 
it, it was it was something that and my sister shares it you know what i'm saying like if you meet my sister like she carries that same energy where it's like we're super in tune with our people we're super in tune with our culture um but we were never cloaked by being surrounded by the same people we were raised around all types of races all types of religions um we always see just good people as opposed to people that look like us to like grow up with and live with them whatever and in best eye they were predominantly black people you know what i'm saying so i think that gave me an advantage you know at first i remember i used it used to feel awkward you know what i mean because i would see other people and i'm like or just other kids i'm like yo i wonder what that's like because the only time i was socialized was and and on the other hand most of my family and cousins my age all live in dr so it's like even if I am with family, it's like babies or uncles and aunts and you know what I'm saying? So it's like the only time we weren't able to even really socialize with like, like even our family who are our ages in DR. So at first it was awkward, but then grown, but then as you realize, I'm like, man, like that gave, that, that's actually really helpful. You know what I'm saying? Because I wasn't, I, I was, I was privy to be able to experience different perspectives on life, different cultures, different um, um, taste in music, different, you know what I'm saying, religious upbringings and spiritual practices, different clothing styles, music, ev- everything, you know what I'm saying? And, and high school was that heavy as well. You know what I'm saying? I went to my, my public school was on my block. So there's, that's that. And then my middle school was like a mix, you know what I'm saying? Irish, white, black, Dominican, Puerto Rican, whatever. And then when I go to high school, once again, predominantly black again, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And a lot of, and a lot of the black people in, Obviously, we're all black, but you know what I'm saying, like African American, Caribbean, and there was a yes. lot of Caribbeans in um, in in high school. So then I'm picking up a lot of just the reggae, the soca, the dance hall. You know what I'm saying, Buju, Bantan, all that shit. So and 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 then I go to college, and my my Dominicanness, my 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 being is on is on full display now because now there is no there's not a lot of black or latino or you know what i'm saying it's all people and not even from new york so now it's like oh shit like you really you really are the same person no matter where you go you know what i'm saying meaning you carry yourself you know and, and i'm not i'm never the type of person to to change who i am depending on who i'm around you know what i'm saying like i'm not going to speak I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna uh, dull my my vocabulary. I'm not gonna dull my thoughts. I'm not gonna. St- you know what I'm saying? Like it's like no. I am who I am. Wherever. You know what I'm saying? But so when I went to NYU, that's when I really like saw myself for like who I was. And and you know even when I was in NYU, like part of my major was Latino studies. So then I'm like you know reading up on just like our authors and our poets and and our history uh, in our countries. You know the like the the young lords, but then like you know, the agriculture, like the movement, farmers and agricultural work and, and, and immigrants and the immigration laws behind that. And I'm studying all of this while in college. So at the same time where I'm experiencing myself totally out of place from like where I was raised, but still in New York, now I'm also doing the, the coursework, you know what I'm saying? And meeting like Juno Diaz in my like freshman year and just like, just, just, just picking up, just picking up now, now it's more than just what my like my my being of Latino isn't just my experience now. Now it's my knowledge. Now it's the videos. Now it's my forefathers. You know what I'm saying? The New York Poets Cafe. Like I performed there before oh I really God. knew about it. Yes. You know what I mean? Like I perf- I performed at the New York before I really knew the importance of it. When I went to like when it was it was late in high school and college, where I'm like, oh shit, like that was important. You know what I'm saying? And I did a whole paper on like the New York Cafe and you know or New York Poets. So it's just like so. I say all of that. It's a long way to answer, but I say all of that to say, like, my my relationship with like being Latino is, has been an interesting like course. And then you know you go out and you leave all of these institutional like structures, and 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 now it's like up to me. And it's like, okay, bet. So what's my art, and how do I represent that? And for a minute, it took a while. I never used to be um, very outspoken, at least in my writing. You know what I'm saying, or in the storytelling about like my perspective on being a Latino, especially in music, but I feel like I just figured out my right balance. You know what I mean? It's the balance of like, I don't want to, I don't want to just speak to people, to my people, but I want them to hear themselves. And I don't want to, but then it's like for an outsider, I don't want them to, for somebody who's not Latino, I don't want them to feel like they're not being considered as well. And 
it was it's one of those things where that's what my actual life has been you know what i'm saying it's like it's representing definitely being who i am and definitely like being that being ingrained in me but then also like being aware that i wanted to be a world conversation you know what i'm saying i do i believe that everybody is interesting i believe that every culture is important and i believe that our culture and our identity our 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 aesthetic on our our writing our language just the way we speak you know what i'm saying it's like it's important in our references and and it's it's one of those things where yeah man i don't I, it, it was a it was a tough thing for a while because i didn't want to come off like super preachy latino like yo every song yo i'm dominican y'all dominican y'all like you know what i'm saying i never i didn't want it to feel that way i wanted it to feel genuine i wanted it to feel like what it what who i was in real life you know as opposed to trying to overdo it for like songs and fans you know so Amazing. yeah it's a, it's a, it's a trip it's a trip it's a, it's a I'm still figuring it out. I, I don't think I fully even um, captivated it, but I think it is starting to resonate, you know? And shout out to all our Latinos that grew up in this side of Brooklyn and grew up like that because yeah. I grew up like that, you know? Even mm -hmm. going to a Catholic high school, all girls high school, it was yeah. that many black girls, you know? Yeah. And I grew up with that whole, you know, with just that whole vibe and mixing mm -hmm. us. They, I love the fact when the black girls would try to speak Spanish and be calling yeah. us mira miras and right, you know right. it was it was such a vibe you know and we go come like, from mm -hmm. that and then yeah. every summer just like you i went with my grandma to puerto rico and that was mm -hmm. where i got the taste of both best of both worlds and really right. tapped into that and learned spanish because it was forcefully i didn't i wasn't going to play mm -hmm. with nobody over there if i didn't speak the spanish right, <laughs> so right, right. i had to learn it you know so it's a beautiful it's a beautiful thing such a beautiful thing now i'm going to get into this question why do you think people are afraid to show love right now? <laughs> <laughs> Don't ever look at me like that. You look creeped out by the question. Like, no, wow, I'm creeped out really by the. I'm creeped out by the. Yeah, I'm creeped out by the. Uh, um. Repeat that again. I want to. I want to make sure. Why do you think right now it's so hard for people to show love? I think it's 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 hard, man. It's hard. Like I can't I can't blame one thing, you know. I can't I can't or I can't focus on one aspect for it. I think one of the things that we have to realize in general, right, is love is what you put your attention to you know love is attentive like of course sometimes it's passive of course sometimes it's it's almost like just cloaked in and embedded and quiet but nonetheless you know what i mean it's like it's like a parent at a park and they're in full bloom conversation with their best friends and their aunts and, and their grandmas but there is a piece of the eye that is not being taken off of the child 30 yards away you know what i mean love is attentive um outside of just people um how what we're paying attention to is is far away from the actual person right now you know what i mean what we we only look for like winners you know for some reason nowadays like everyone has forgotten that good and bad are best friends you know what i mean it, they they coexist and without the one you wouldn't be able to see what the other is mm -hmm. and we we've created such a barrier between our real life and the presentation of who we are mm -hmm. that people aren't they don't even know like they don't even know nobody knows each other anymore you know what i'm saying there there's like social media is such a beautiful thing but i tend to unfortunately be more pessimistic about it because our brains are being rewired you know what i'm saying our dopamine levels and, and our endorphins are being applied and, and be, are being generated by the wrong things our bodily functions um and and by default we end up leaning towards that 
and creating sm like presenting small pieces of ourselves in the form of like accolades and, and awards and news and this is where I'm at on vacation and this is the new thing that I'm wearing and this is the event that I'm at and this is the famous person I'm with and this is the new thing I have and and so we're all we're all being like fake to a certain extent you know because we're all choosing what part of ourselves are being presented so the real so the full aspect of ourselves a lot of the times are not being tended to by the people or by the entities that we look forward to showing us love you know what i mean like it's like you can get a co-sign for your song but you're not going to be act how how's your mother doing you can mm -hmm. you can be set you can like you can announce you just signed for a million dollar deal and you get 1500 comments but you put a fundraiser for your mom who's in a hospital and you get five like you know what i'm saying it's a, and the algorithms are working against that because it, it feeds into what people are paying attention to already and that's what gets yes. presented so so it's heavy but i think through that you know I feel like sometimes, you know, people people feel like they don't have anything worth, they, they don't have anything like an award. They don't have anything like a, something that they're ready to post tomorrow or something something that they're working on that's good. You know, sometimes people are just dealing with what's in front of them and and that can cause bitterness. You know what I'm saying? That can cause like, what's, damn, what's wrong with me? You know what I mean? That can cause like, what am I doing wrong? What am and not in a productive way, you know what I mean? It can cause like comparison and it can cause like um, distance from the fact that everyone is living just as a complex of a life as you, but it's all a presentation. But, but like you wanna support other people, but, and you wanna be able to show love, but then it's like, man, it kind of feels like it's coming from a hole, you know what I mean? And, and that's why I feel like it's hard for a lot of people to show love because we're, it's easier to it's easier sometimes to show love when you feel like you are being loved and and sometimes when it feels like you're being loved is when you have the most attention yes. on you or as much attention as you want but when you aren't being paid attention to when you aren't being attended to when you aren't being cared for it's hard to give that out you know no matter how strong of a person you are and that's why like for me i've been working on who I am as a man, you know what I'm saying, in my relationships, um, with my woman, with my family, with my friends, um, calling people, you know what I mean? Even if I am promoting something, like, yo, I hope, like, you and your family are, like, impeccable, or, like, people tell me news, and I, before I go to sleep, I try to, I've learned to not just, like, you don't just pray for yourself and your things and what's on your mind. Like, think about, I try to, I try to do, like, a small, just a roulette wheel and just like spin and whoever's head, whoever's face like comes to my mind and try to like just put energy out there for people and take time to consider other people's feelings and situations. Cause man, it's tough. You know what I mean? It's tough. And we're, and, and the closer we are and so on, on, on the internet, the farther we are in like real life. And it's a, it's a weird one. This, that's one of my answers. I feel like I can give you 25 different answers on why. <laughs> But I believe that that's one. You know what I'm saying? It's it's hard for you to it's hard for you to give love if you don't feel it. And I think we just need to do a better job at like you know loving the ones close to us, even if it's not everyone else on the internet. I love that because you totally took responsibility. Like you totally put yourself in that question and said, "Wait yeah. a minute, you know, it's not about I'm not even doing it right. You know, mm -hmm. like I, yeah. there's, there's times where I'm not even showing love in the right way, and this is." Right. Why. Mm -hmm get into the book yeah. so now nothing changes if nothing changes talk to me about that process court the quarantine push you to do this did you have to work in it because i know you're always working on something <laughs> yeah the book you're, you're speaking about specifically yes yeah i actually i had the book being made since um i believe we uh, in a rough way it was july that we started of last year um oh, wow. because you know we it, it may have been, it may, I think it was around July. It, it was when we came up with the idea to make individual cover arts for every single song. Um, naturally, an artist, my, my man Sam Linnefeld, give him his props. Um, he has a sketchbook, so then you're going through and, you know, coming up with ideas for different songs or whatever. And then 
it was like a physical book. So then we were like, yo, like, it'd be crazy if we made a, if we presented like the process. At first it was just going to be a process book. Um, that was the original idea. And it ended up being that, you know, at the, at the release party on, on the wall, people didn't really know, but on the wall, and this was October, the process book was there. And the original idea was just like, we're going to present just like the workbook. And so you can see the original ideas from where this came. But I, I don't know, as, as that idea was maturing, um, we just started getting more curious. You know what I'm saying? How, what, how will we fill up the pages? Wait, okay, a book for Nothing Changes, that's dope. I'm not doing any physical CDs or vinyls or stuff like that right now. Like, what, what's, a, what's a more interesting way, I think, to just like bring in, bring in people to, to my world, you know what I mean? And, and then we just started putting together ideas and, and expanding on the art and, and writing poetry and coming over to my crib a bunch of times and me going to his crib and like just sharing ideas and just, and just working on, you know, looking at what the themes of the album was were and and how can we expand that into like a full book you know what i'm saying so like the poetry uh came from some of some of them some like some of it is like the content that's already in the song some of it is like expounding upon the environment some of it is just like it's there's a there's a that like i have a poem about the new york and post cafe interlude on the album is like you know identity and like being you know, my past and just like honoring what my ancestors uh, have done and represent for me. But then in the poem, and there's a poem in the book as well, like also about like the Dominican Republic, but it's actually about like the negative side of our history. You know what I'm saying? And the way, the way that's been painted and, 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 and addressing mm-hmm. those things. So it's like, it's like expanding on the themes and expanding on the themes of family and the people in my life and, you know, giving back stories to, um, some of the characters and like some of the people, I'm gonna even say characters, some of the people that I speak about and the backstory behind some how some of the songs were created. And I just felt like, yo, why not just do that now? You know what I'm saying? This is something that this is like like you said, like I believe I believe I've always been a multifaceted artist. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a yeah. person that I don't believe in like the capacity of my art is contained within the best 16 bars I can make. Like that is part of it but I have opinions on art and visuals and, and just like, you know, how we should exist. And I don't, I don't want to, it sounds weird, but I don't want to give other opportunities sometimes credit for that. You know what I mean? Like, like I don't want somebody to come and be like, Oh yeah, we're the ones who like have that and just make it like, nah, I've been wanting to make books since forever. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I've been wanting to, I've been trying to shoot my own videos since forever. Like yep. I've been trying to work with like, you know, I've been I've been doing I've been doing like like drawn by hand artwork for my art for my song since since the inception basically you know what I'm saying since high school like like man like how do like we we flip like a Banksy picture and put that like for me and Mad Wizard's first joint you know what I'm saying like yo I've been trying to I've been on this path like if you fuck with me right you know what I'm saying if you know me from from at least high school and on you know I've been on some trying sounds, trying different productions, trying different flows, whatever the fuck, you know what I'm saying? I think what got popularized was just like, oh, he's dope in a cypher and he can spit an ill 16 and he sounds yeah. like hip hop, but it's like- And then everything else like, flowed with it. But... I'm being fake if that's all I do. Because <laughs> anybody, who, anybody who knows, knows I've been trying to do some wild right. shit from the jump, you know what I'm saying? So it's one of those things where I had to get more confident in who I am for real, you know what I mean? And the book is a manifestation of that. So actually the, the week, COVID hit was I had my release uh, at the store Dover Street Market and uh, on, um, on in the city with, you know what I'm saying, like a bunch of books, a limited edition t-shirt. We were going to have an in-store performance, like a whole sexy event, you know what I'm saying? Like some sexy shit, but like it shut it down, you know what I'm saying? COVID shut it down. So yeah, COVID did not inspire it at all. It was, this is, wow. this is being planned for like almost a year prior, you know what I mean? And, and, and it cost money. We produced it, we got it made in Berlin. You know what I'm saying? Shout out out of press and my homie Amazing. Theo um, helped consult us and just like actually putting together something that you know is is, is worth it. You know, and I, and I feel like it's a timestamp because this is Radimus' like first attempt at an art book. You know what I mean? And it's around this album, so and it's not going to be the last time I drop books for sure. You know, fire! I love that. Yeah. All right, so now let's get into the new project. 
that yeah. I'm like, and it was so, it was sweet and short. Like I was able to yeah. listen to it a few times. Like I wanted mm-hmm. to, I said, let me go back to this. Synonyms of strength. That mm-hmm. name, the title in itself. Just mm-hmm. tell me about it. SOS. Oh you know what my I'm God, I didn't even realize so that. Like, <laughs> SOS. What? I love um, it. And for me, it's not even like, like that's the call to help, right? Um, I feel like sometimes we get really like down on ourselves and, or we miss it. We, we, we limit and, and we put a ceiling on what strength looks like. We put a limit on what power looks like. Like we only address a lot of these things as uh, victorious um, accolades. Um, like you were saying know, before, winners. Wealth, big wealth. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, and you know, I have other perspectives on like winning and stuff like that too. Like, uh, uh, because that's the thing in our minds. Like, also, also, when I, I said a line recently, damn, I, I wish I could just run to it, but I said something like good, good and bad are best friends, but like the wins are undervalued. Something about, you know what I'm saying? Like, the losses have a higher volume, you know what I'm saying? Like, we like pay attention to the bad more than the good, actually. But nonetheless, you know what I'm saying? Um, I, I realized that, you know, there, there are many ways to, to, that strength is, is expressed. And I think for me, um, the songs dictated that first, you know what I mean? I was realizing like what I was writing, you know, I was writing, I was making these songs, like as I was prepping the release of like the last album and, and I had enough distance from that music because it took a minute to just get right and the beats and, and clearances and all that, that I was already in the new creative space. And I was writing songs like Brody's Wodies, you know what I'm saying? Where it's just a soft ass, like nobody's ever heard me you know what I mean? Necessarily just like, I got dreams, I got dreams. Right? But I was like, yo, like, but then like, I took all the evil out of my homies. Like, oh shit, what, is, what does that mean? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm rapping about fucking, you know, the environment and, and I just, I think like the content itself, you know, I feel like, I feel like I sounded like I was cool with shit. You know what I mean? I, I didn't want to make, I didn't want to, um, create my past like it was the hardest thing ever and I didn't want to oh like this is what I've been through I'm suffering through it like nothing of that exists on my project you know what I'm saying and it was like oh that's an idea of strength Mm -hmm. uh forgiveness the relinquishing of like pain that in a way you no longer feel there may be after effects of it you know what I'm saying but it's like man like damn, that's kind of, it feels good to just be like, yo, I'm oh, off yeah. that. You know what I mean? It's like, it's strength to say I took all the evil out of my homies. Like, motherfuckers are normally trying to be tough together. It's like, nah, wait, let my presence be peace. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Let, like, when I come around, I hope it makes people want to go do something good. You know what I mean? Like, I hope, I hope the decisions in my life are transmitting through my energy when I walk in the room. So, you know, like, it, it's not like, um, it's not like Rad's a pussy, but like, man, Rad is on some other shit. Like, I got, and right people, and that's been affirmed through other people. Like, other people tell me, like, you know, I know, yo, Justine, I'm like, I'm not, it's not light out here either. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know all people from all walks of life. I know. And motherfuckers tell me themselves, like, yo, like, nah, I talk to you. You know what I'm saying? Homies was locked up. I talk to you when I, I know I need to hear some sense. I talk to you when I know when when I'm bugging and I need I need somebody to put me on because I'm not gonna push you off the cliff. I'm not and I'm not and I'm gonna let you know that it's not you're not losing your manhood either for it. So like gratitude is gangsta and the killers is pussy. No, gratitude is gangsta and the killers forgiven. Like, wait, like okay, I get it, we lashed out, but like let's let that go a bit. You know what I mean? And the second verse is say I'm here for, I'm slain at 17, I'm here forgiving the shooter. Like I had to really think about it myself, like damn, what the like I like people who are next to you and they're no longer not because of the st- stupidest shit in the world. Like, but I gotta come on wax and pretend like I'm gonna kill everybody or like anybody trying to be a threat to me. Like, yeah, I'm not like like human beings aren't threats to me. You know what I'm saying? Ill minds are threat a threatening. Mm-hmm. You know, like like playing on people's ego and gassing it and challenging people's like pers- false manhood is a threat. Human beings, nah, I could talk to you. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm a, and I'm gonna come at you with love. Like I'm not, I'm not gonna back down, but I'm gonna come at you with love. Like, yo, this is what it is because I have real life experiences that I have to honor. You know what I mean? And that's what, that's what like the idea for sending as a strength was. And it was like, 
yo, let's take a minute from all the VIM, New York, New York, you know what I'm saying? God is not money. Like, yeah, that's my shit too, because that's me also. But it was like, it's like, it's like for me, sending it to strength is also me. You know what I mean? I also sometimes am just like Brody's Brody. Sometimes I am just, I am blessed. I'm alive. I'm amazing. Sometimes like, that's just like, if anything, I'm probably that more than the other shit. Like VIM in New York, New York are the expressions of when the feelings bottle up. But actually, you might be really on, the, on some day-to-day shit with this one. You know what I mean? And, and, and I also realized that my, my, my joints like that. My albums like that. I remember I had a homie, he doesn't even listen to hip hop and he didn't, he didn't influence this at all, but I just thought about him like two days ago. I remember he was like, he like loved me, but he was like, man, like your music is just, it's just, I can't handle it. You know what I'm saying? He, he's like a frail type person. Like I love him, but like, I'm not gonna <laughs> shout him out, but like really frail. And, but I had to really think about that. Like, man, like you already fuck with me. So, and I'm my music. Oh, ma- there's a distance here. There's a gap here. Like I have the opportunity to, make more music to fill up like it's like i'm trying to like by the by the time i f- i start making music i plan on I, like my intention at least is to have my the full 100 percent radimus displayed you know what i'm saying i feel like that's why i make music and that's why life inspires me because i get filled up and i grow and i evolve and I, it's like a duty like i might learn something right now and put that shit in the rat like i have to have my music mirror the full extent of who i am so that's why sometimes it's going to be turned up. That's why sometimes it's going to be sexy. That's why sometimes it's going to be calm. That's why sometimes it's going to be destructive. That's why sometimes it's going to be reflective. That's why sometimes it's just like happy, but hype, like, because I'm all of those things, because I'm, try- I'm trying to make sure you meet the full me. So sending the strength is my opportunity to do that. You know what I mean? And, uh, and I don't think I've made songs, any of those songs before. You know what I'm saying? Even if they liken themselves to like something else, I've never made those songs before. I'm not repeating a formula. You know what I mean? And that was important for me. I love that. I love it. I love it. I love it. And I love it because it gets back to that idea of what I was talking in the beginning. And what I feel here is that vulnerability. Yeah. Are we so afraid to be vulnerable? You know, and it's because people, not only do we not know how to be vulnerable, we don't know how to take each other and help each other be vulnerable. When you're vulnerable to me, how am I taking that in? Right. You know what I'm saying? Just like you said, it doesn't always have to be gangster shit. It doesn't always have to be, what about the love that goes behind that? Yo, Jacina, you know, about- like, if you knew the types of conversations I have with people, and I'm talking like, you know what it is? A lot of the times you have, like, let's say I'm speaking about, let's say I'm speaking to men specifically, like, a lot of men have friends that they can't be real with. You know what I mean? A lot of, yeah. like, like I, I try to have relationships with, with, my, with my homies, like, Yo, if you're going through some shit, like if it's your shorty, if it's love, if it's like economic, if it's some food shit, if it's just like creative blockage, if you're feeling insecure about your looks, if you're feeling whatever, like, yo, we here, man. Like, For you know what I'm real. saying? Like, I don't want to be shitting on the people next to me. Like, and, and the real. music game is the same shit. Like, you have artists that all they trying to do is be the second coming to Mob Deep. And it's like, yo... You, didn't, you ain't even listening to Prodigy, son. Like, For you know real. what I mean? People think Mob Deep is shook ones. Like, they're not listening. You know what I mean? You know how vulnerable Prodigy is as an artist? Like, like yo, like, my shit is Nas. Like, did you, do you hear what Nas be talking about? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, people, like, even the artists that, even the artists that are the representation of, like, like, masculinity and toughness and just, like, hardcore hip-hop, like, People like even the don't like the people who judge hip hop according to those standards aren't listening. You know what I'm saying? You're not listening today, and and you're not listening to Jay for real as an artist, and you're not gonna try. I mean, to look at the way Jay the, lives, to though. The man next to you. And look at the way Jay lives. The family the man. man the, exactly. This is what I'm saying. Like, yep. like yo, y'all ass. You know what I'm saying? Like y'all <laughs> ass, man. Like, like y'all not real because y'all you. And, and that's why it's my responsibility. Like, yo, I'm not out here to out macho nobody. Like, I'm not out here. Like, I love myself. I'm a beautiful person. You know what I'm saying? I like my style. I like my girl. I like my music. I like my homies. I like to hang out with people when it's time to. I like to not when it's don't. You know what I'm saying? And, and I believe in what the fuck I do. And I don't need an, a, another person's validation for me, to, for me to feel that. You know what I'm saying? And for me to love who I am and what I do. So it's like, I'm just, but I am here to amplify coming from that place. You know what I'm saying? That's why I love my fans. You know what I mean? Like, I don't love my fans because they give me, um, like, satisfaction in knowing I'm being listened to. Like, 
like it'd be like nah like y'all you hearing me you know what i'm saying like i feel like my fans are like me you know what i mean like i'll be hearing it like or, or they'll tell me like yo like nah like my manager just hit me the other, like today like there's this, this is an unreleased song that i did called flame and he was like yo i get flame now and i'm like why he's like yo it's life son i was like yo life. you know what i mean and then quoted the line and i was like yo chill you get it now you know what i mean it's like i'm just that, that's what i'm trying to admit i'm trying to admit life and and when you go behind the scenes, you know what I'm saying, and you talk to people and, and you kick game, it's like I posted a, it's like I posted yesterday, like, you know, I've heard people say like or, or homies tell me like, yo, or I feel it also you just feel it in the air, like, yo, like this is too positive. Like, you know, people probably used to a certain thing from me and then I'm not here to I here to your idea of who I'm supposed to be either. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm being I'm being realer by now, I'm gonna show you some shit maybe you don't like. And it's like, yo, that's probably gonna be me in person. Like, yo, I don't like rat off the honey, I like rat off the patron, like that might be the shit, you know what I mean? Like so I don't know, man. I I just I, I'm in I'm in tune with I'm in tune with what I'm doing because it's the only way I want the rewards anyway. You know I wouldn't want to be applauded for being beside myself. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't want to I wouldn't want the accolades knowing I wasn't present in my decisions. You know what I'm saying? And in tune with what what they represented. You know. And for those working so hard out there and for those who believe and who's, for those who are living the culture and like we said, for those who aren't feeling that, that attention from that love, this is what matters. You know what mm. I'm saying? It's artists like you that matter, mm. that put music out to touch somebody, not just to put, and I mean, again, the music that people put out just to dance and yeah, that's cool too, but there's a time and a place for everything. And yeah. this is what takes, you know, for you to say, started out from high school for me to understand it for me to go out there and speak mm -hmm. and see that presentation mm -hmm. how people took to you while you were speaking that was something you picked up there that was an energy you pulled with you and rolled with it you know and i mean it's a beautiful beautiful journey radam is no, um, just seeing I'm, I'm not even I gonna take in summer jam. <laughs> i remember i was backstage in summer jam and i was on some preppy shit you know what i'm saying in college like i was I had the, I had my hair is a little higher. I used to put a little bit of olive oil with the Oxfords and and the slim, you, know you know what I'm saying, the color pants and rugby. And my, and, what? Come on. And then, and and I used to wear like, on that summer jam like that, right? I don't, and the, you know what I'm saying, this is Joey Badass, ASAP Ferg, Action Bronson, Bodega Bands, Vinny Chase, all these people. And I pulled up like that, you know? You know what I mean? And I remember, I remember uh, my homies almost like fought these dudes that were there because the they were like all chilling and everybody's looking, you know what I'm saying? Hip hop, hip hop, you know what I mean? And, and mm -hmm. I'm, I'm like, yo, this isn't what I'm on. So, and I remember because I had like an Oxford and some short shorts with the, with the boat shoes, with the, with the Ralph Lauren boat shoes, you know what I'm saying? Um, $400 shoes, but nonetheless, the boat shoes fit. And I remember like, I guess they were like trying to clown me, like they were like talking to them and somebody I said, yo, like, who you like? I guess they asked him, like, yo, why y'all here? Like, oh, we performing with our boy Radimus. And they're like, who Radimus? Like, and they said him right there. And I guess I was walking. I, was, I wasn't I was even there for the interaction. And they're like, oh, who him? Like, some with the whatever? Like, drunk, just judge the whole the whole yeah. look. You know what I'm saying? And my homie's like, yeah. and it almost broke out into some fights. She's like, yeah, him. Like, you know what I'm saying? And, that, and that's how I was raised. You know what I'm saying? Like, be yourself. You know what I mean? Cause, right. Cause if I want to pull up and I just copped the Burberry blaze, I might have to hit him with that shit again. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm probably a little bit flyer now because I get Please it. Please do. Like, you know, it's it's one of those <laughs> things where I don't, I don't I don't need to look like nobody. I don't need to sound like nobody. I don't need I don't need to be mirrored and and I'm not I'm not out here like you know like being beside myself for anybody's approval. You know what I mean? Because that that's how I want to win. And if I feel like making some turnip shit, I'm already working on the next album and it's already not sitting in the strength. But it's like I'm gonna do what I want to do. You know what I mean? And I'm expanding the way that I feel like I want to. And that's how I'm going to get mine, you know? Now, but I've seen you grow and I've seen exactly yeah. that. Even when you came to talk to us about Righteous and you came to, you know, when mm -hmm. you and when exactly, came what out you and, yeah, exactly. exactly mm -hmm. what you're saying. It was like, it was something you were going through in life and how you took to that and what you were going through at that time. And, you know, and you're so specific with that. Even now with synonyms of strength, so yeah. specific with... Right. Being in that moment, and that's such an important thing. And I just, I feel like I want people to be more vulnerable. I feel like yeah. Instagram will well, be more fun. Facebook will be, you know what I'm vulnerable saying? Like, it literally looks like um, weakness to people because vul like to be vulnerable is to expose. 
but for some reason people think exposing means flaw mm-hmm. it's like no expose your best qualities like vulnerability doesn't mean you're good and you have badness on the under layer that you need to let go right mm-hmm. vulnerability a lot of the times is your bad is the exterior you have goodness that you have to relieve you know what i'm saying and that's vulnerability to me it's not it's not like i'm the tough and i'm i'm hiding my 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 worst things it's it's actually the opposite you know, that's what sin is strength is like like that's why there is no blaming of a past that's why there's no like evil words to be even on peace god when i say devilish i reverse that shit like it's like i am blessed i'm alive i'm amazing like the only thing i am blessed because i'm alive and that's amazing you know what i'm saying there's it's not quantified off of a result it's not like i'm blessed because i got money i'm alive so and i was able to know that's the fact that i'm alive is amazing like i can work from there wow. i can resolve whatever you know what i'm saying and that's what and that's what the song details is just like yo any any situation like you know what I'm saying? Just the present and, and we in this. And, and that's the thing. Vulnerability and the word itself, because I get it. I, I hear how it sounds when it's said. It, it, it sounds like you have to expose and, and your, these hidden secrets. Like, yo, it, like you, the only secrets you need, you, go, yo, you just got to tell them God. Don't tell them to nobody else. You know what I'm saying? You got to tell them to nobody else. You can tell them to mm-hmm. God. You can, tell them, you can say them out loud. You know what I'm saying? Like, let them out. But a lot of a lot of people are actually hiding their best qualities, and that's what that that's the hard part. They they're used to being validated for something else, you know. Um, yeah, like t- there's a lot of tough rappers that are really great people, you know what I mean? And can't like they're like, no, I'm not gonna smile in my interviews and all of my lyrics as soon as is the beats on, like my voice is harsh, hoarser, and it's like, yo, you, you're a great guy. You know what I'm saying? Like you're great to have a drink with, like. Y'all be chilling, you make jokes, you have a sense of humor, like, you know what I'm saying? And I was, yo, man, yo. yo. <laughs> we could go on and on, right? <laughs> it's a trip. But, you know, that's what I'm here for. And, I'm, and, 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 and like I said, it's not, it's not being very, like, holier than thou, but it, it really is. Like, yo, let me, whether it's hard for you to still get to or not, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to be here. You know what I'm saying? This is where I'm at, y'all. Like, and I'm going to win like this. You know what I'm saying? I know I'm going to win. Like, I know I'm already on the, I'm already a winner. You know what I'm saying? I'm already, like, my, my life was not set up for, like, this. You know what I'm saying? And all I've done was just, like, take whatever opportunity showed up and did that to the best of my ability. You know what I'm saying? To me, I've never dropped the ball. All I've done was, like, show up. Just show up. That's it. I showed up. So when it's time for, like, if it's whatever stage, whatever, however big the, I'm going to show up, though. You know what I mean, and that, and that, and by the grace of God, that's what's been working for me. You know what I'm saying, and and we'll continue to do that. And and I think the better I am as a human being, the better my life is going to be. You know, I love it. I love it, and I thank you, thank you, thank you for that. Just have just being you, just being you. okay with being you and loving yourself and showing what it is when an artist you're just too genuine not to make it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just the opportunity to be able to rap to be able to make the book, to be able to create the art, to be able to make a video. You're probably mm-hmm. living someone's dream just by that. You know what I'm saying? It's not even about the numbers or the money that's gonna come later on. You're already living somebody's dream to, to, to just these little opportunities. Me being able to sit right now with you and speak, that's living out a yeah. dream. It doesn't have to mm-hmm. be, I'm on MTV. I made it to the Grammys. I, and yeah, people want to skip steps. Yes, they don't realize all those steps. little yo. wins that create a bigger picture. And yo, I thank you, thank you, thank you for this interview. I thank you for the art and what you do for the culture. Man, whatever's Appreciate coming you. next, I'm just so excited. No, nah, we with Everybody it, man. Knows. My next hit, my next hit is coming, yo. I just, I'm just, I'm just working on, you know, like I said, the same thing. I'm already on some. I feel like I'm like a professional rapper and like rapping now, like for the next one. Like it's like, I don't even know how to, uh, I'm, 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 figure, I'm figuring it out. But, uh, but yeah, man, yeah. And, and I think that that's an important note to like end on, you know, if, if the listener made it to this part, like to this tail end of the interview, like don't undervalue the smallest decisions. You know what I'm saying? And that's really what it is. Like people want accolades, people want, but like, man, nobody's there when, like last night, I was writing until six in the morning on some new music. Like nobody's like, are you like, drink the extra cup of coffee and stay up because, and nobody's telling you to. 
there's no timeline. You know what I'm saying? Nobody's telling me something has to get done. You exactly. have to set that alarm clock. Like, yep. You know what I'm saying? I reached out to you like, yo, this is going on I'm, or whatever. I promote myself. I hit people up. Like there's days like, yo, it was like last Friday. It was one of those like weird, like calm, nothing to do. Like, yeah, the Netflix is on. I was like, yo, let me go through all my unread messages on ID. <laughs> one by one hit people like That's okay, right. I haven't spoken to since the last album, like, yo, new music, like, yo, check it out, like, you know what I'm saying, let me know what you think, God bless, like, like, I'm willing to do whatever, you know what I'm saying, like, and, and, and that, that eventually manifests into something that the public is proud of, but people aren't really there on a day-to-day, the small things that I do on a daily basis, you know what I'm saying, and it's true for anybody out there, you know, it takes, it takes a lot more than just, like, Yo, you want MTV, so that's it. You just get MTV. Like, you got to put yeah. in the work. It's an, it's an exchange. And I believe it's an even exchange. And I, I, I don't believe you get any more. And know? it's kind of like um, a disrespect to the art and to where that person made it. Because yeah. it took so much for that person yeah. to get there. You know, even I have a whole, I have, I have a yo. decade plus of sweat equity. You know what I'm saying? Being built up still. To and days, I've been... Know? And I'm, and I'm still in my 20s, like, you know what I'm saying? And I'm already like, you yo, I feel like I'm 15 years <laughs> in, you know what I'm saying? Like, And, and you and look 15 years old, so you good. This is what I'm saying. Look I started you. taking care of my skin. Wow, you know man. what I'm saying? Toner, moisturizer. You're going to have like, to drop the remedies like, next. You got to drop the on, face, you know? Like, you already said yo, olive oil for the, the hair. Cleanser. This is what I'm saying. Like, I was like, yo, I have to... Like, why am I going to win a Grammy and, and my skin is, like, let me look sexy. You know what I'm saying? I got to represent my best self. Like, right. so, thanks, man. Yo, Dacina, love. Thank you. Always. Good luck with everything. Love to you and your family. And, and may we continue to be able to create and expand. You know what I mean? Thank you so much, Rad. Love to you and love to everything you're doing and everybody behind you too, man. Bless. We'll talk to you soon, all right? Yeah, later. Peace.